Hi, I'm Matt Robinson, Lead Solutions Architect and Senior Software Engineer with Rendered AI. I'll be showing you how to explore the Rendered AI DeerSig Remote Sensing Channel, a synthetic data app based on the DeerSig Simulation Tool. To get access to our trial content for the DeerSig Remote Sensing Channel, we've made available a content code that creates a workspace or project that will show you how to use DeerSig within our platform. To get started, sign into your account. If you don't have an account, fill out the sign up form. Your high level dashboard sorts workspaces by your organizations. We're going to create a new workspace within Rendered. Click on the New Workspace button. You're going to give it a name and enter a content code. The content code might be slightly different than the one I'm using here. Here we are in our workspace, created for demonstration purposes that will allow us to work with DeerSig and Rendered AI. We're going to start off looking at a graph. Graphs highlight particular node relationships and illustrate randomization of various parameters. For the graphs of the DeerSig demo content, a particular sensor is used with a randomized parameter. Let's take a look at the graph based on a hyperspectral sensor where the atmospheres are randomized. From within a graph, you can preview or stage it to run jobs. A typical scenario could be you created this graph for a data set to improve your training data, but evaluation of the model led to a hypothesis that the training data is underrepresented for some case. Maybe you need more summer atmospheres. You can delete the winter node and stage a new graph. And then head over to the Jobs tab. Note that the workspace comes preloaded with each of the graphs already staged. Let's rename the new staged graph based on the changes that we made. And here you can run a job to create a new data set, but you will need to be granted access to the Tier 6 software. The channel used with the DeerSig demo workspace does not provide the actual simulation libraries. The datasets provided in the trial content are in the datasets library. These should give you a sense for the type of synthetic data available with the rendered AI DeerSig integration. The images are a false color raster file for preview and convenience. The datasets can be downloaded by selecting them from the list. Inside each dataset, you will notice the NV data cubes are here, as well as pixel level truth data. There are the DeerSig configuration files, as well as the metadata and graph file from the rendered AI run. The NV files can be opened with the DeerSig image tool, as well as other uh, open source packages like the Python spectral package or QGIS. The DeerSig remote sensing channel works with the annotations feature for converting annotations to project specific formats like Coco. Depending on the objects in the channel, there can be several mappings. Each of these datasets comes from an associated graph. The graphs are named with the sensor used and the parameter randomized. There are two graphs for randomized calibration panels, one for an HSI spectrometer on a satellite platform, and the other one is for an MSI spectrometer on a low aerial platform. There is a graph with random atmospheres for an HSI spectrometer, a graph with random time of day for an RGB camera on a high aerial platform, and one with oblique localization randomization for the MSI spectrometer, low aerial platform with 60 degree look angle.
Thanks for spending time with me today to explore our Dear Sig demo content in Rendered AI. Contact sales at Rendered AI and we can get you access to a fully functioning Dear Sig based channel.